an update and a powerful confirmation. May 10, 2014 Dear friends, Like many of you, I have been receiving so much information lately. Some of it during meditation, but most of it has been in the form of articles, books, or films that I have stumbled across, or that others have found and have been guided to share with me. Much of this information is about the communication between our physical bodies, our consciousness, and these invisible energies, and a recurring theme also seems to be scientific discoveries being made now that can confirm information that others have predicted or even channeled earlier. It is an amazing process of finding bits and pieces of information in one place that leads you to another, and finding connections between something that at first glance seems not to be connected at all. This is very much an ongoing process, one that so far also involves amongst others, my sister and Philip, but I am certain that many of you will be involved in this kind of collaborative efforts in the time ahead, if you are not already very much a part of it. I am also certain that we will start to see more and more of this kind of information coming out now. I have been waiting for a signal to start to post some of what has been collected so far, and today, I got this message from the constant companions. There have been times when mankind has seemingly stumbled across some important information, information that may seem to come out of nowhere, but has a potential of changing the course not just for the individual coming across this nugget of knowledge, but also for all of mankind. And now, you all stand poised before a period in which so many of these nuggets will start to manifest, also in the minds of highly trained people all over your globe. For as we have told you again and again, the light will find its way into the hearts and minds of all, not just a chosen few. And now you have reached a point where mankind can no longer be ignoring these signals coming in from what you like to think of as outer space. But remember, these outside interventions are not truly foreign in any way, they are merely signals from your own core, finally seeping out into your consciousness in a very new way. And as such, they will be looked upon as new. But nothing that will arise in the time ahead is in fact new to any of you for it is simply the resurrection of the true you, the core that contains it all, even knowledge that you think is far beyond your capacity to contain, far less understand. But this is what is starting to happen now, on a much grander scale than before. For even if mankind has a long history of reinventing themselves, guided by some brilliant single-minded individuals crying out Eureka, as if seeing the light for the very first time in the darkest of jungles, now, this will start to turn into a mass movement, where the light being released will in turn release so much inner knowledge that will help to lift you all far above the rather primitive ways of living that you carry out today. For it is a fact that mankind has governed their lives and lives high and that is more than detrimental, not only to themselves, but to everything that is all around them, and in order for mankind to try to sustain themselves, they literally suck the lifeblood from their surroundings, leaving them barren and bare unable to maintain a healthy and vigorous life cycle. But this is about to change and again, this change will be fueled by that light you all carry within, with a little extra helping being beamed in from your far-flung surroundings. For you are indeed an intrinsic part of this salvage operation, but you are not merely here to act as anchors for all of this light coming into your atmosphere. No. You are also here to ensure that these deep and untapped layers of information that you already carry within you are coming out and into the open now, for the very first time since mankind started on their rather long and convoluted journey towards this very point in time. For remember, you are not here to drive yourselves to extinction, you are here to lift yourselves up from that smothering layer of inert energy that has been suppressing all that you are for far too long. And now, that layer has more than cracked open, it has disintegrated to such a degree, a veritable flood of light will start to pour forth from the unlikeliest of places. For this light is within you all, and we do mean all, also in those that so far seem to have been running the errands of those still set on dragging you all even further down into that old morass. And so, look around you, and you will start to notice signs of discoveries of such a magnitude. Mankind will never look back on their history and think, we did all this, but we did nothing to get ourselves out of it. For in the times ahead, 
you will start to see how one by one the old truths will be left on the scrap heap for never to emerge again. Or if they do, it will be in a museum, where they will be displayed as proof of the distance mankind has traveled in the interim. For now, you will start to take some decisive steps away from the old ways of thinking and the old ways of acting, and in time, these steps will become giant leaps. For this part of your evolution will not be a slow and gradual one. No, this will be measured out in quantum leaps, and we do mean that in every sense of the word. So stay tuned, and stay alert, for we are certain you will all be guided to start to dip into that pool of knowledge you will find before you, both on the inside, but also on the outside. For there is so much going on now in small rooms and in larger chambers all over your globe, done by honest hard-working people who are starting to see some concrete results emerge from those intuitive sparks that suddenly lit up their minds during the unlikeliest of hours. And from these small sparks of ingenuity and inspiration, seeds have been sown that are already starting to grow. And one by one, these seedlings and these minds will be displayed for all to see, and this in turn will help to lift the lid off so many other bubbling cauldrons of inspired invention. So again we say expect the unexpected, both in the form of content but also in the form of location, and trust that divine intervention is indeed already in place by that very divinity you all carry within you. For that divinity is now taking over the driver's seat again, as it is your divine spark seated within your heart who will be calling the shots. Not just in you, but in millions of others as well. We would like to conclude this message with a film, and it is indeed one that has been picked up by this channel in the last few days, and so, we will ask her to please include it in this message. For in this film, you will start to see the emergence of a message that will become clearer and clearer to all of mankind, and it has everything to do with you as humans, but it has also everything to do with you as creator gods. Thank you, that will be all from us at this stage, but we do implore you all to take the time to watch this footage and take in the message embedded within it. Thank you, we leave. And here is the film the constant companions refer to, it is an hour-long interview with Stuart Hameroff, an anesthesiologist and professor at the University of Arizona known for his studies of consciousness. I am certain this will help to set off some sparks in many of you as well, and I also hope you will feel called to share what you stumble across in the time ahead. The Constant Companions Channeled by Asia North AsianNorth.wordpress.com